welcome to Community Best Practices, your place to go for inspiration and ideas from the First Lego League community. I'm your host, Chrissy, and I have the privilege of serving as the program delivery partner for the Kansas City region. Today, we're answering the question, what solutions have you come up with that creatively divide materials between team members to allow hands-on opportunities? To answer this question, we're speaking with Ruth from the North Texas region. Ruth, please tell us what you've been doing with your team. Not every student is able to join us for our limited in-person meetings. We've designated one of our field kits to travel between team members' homes. Each student keeps the kit for about a week before passing it on to the next team member. This allows everyone to have hands-on time with the field kit. We've been able to loan basic robot kits to those students who don't have their own, so everyone has their own robot and can work on the robot game, even when they don't have access to the field. Most students don't have a large supply of extra parts, but they want everyone to be able to work on all aspects of the robot game and have identical robots, attachments, and jigs. So they've had to get creative and come up with designs that use only the parts that everyone has. They duplicate everything they build in Studio 2.0 to make it easier to share designs, especially with those team members who are not able to meet with us in person. It's a challenge, but I'm proud of their hard work and how they're displaying teamwork and gracious professionalism. Thank you for that excellent answer, Ruth. Continue to check in with us each week throughout the season for more questions and answers from the community.